Hello. <laughs> one, two, one, two. Does everybody hear me? Is it okay? Okay, nice. Um, welcome to everybody. Today we are going to talk about uh, what to do with uh, the dev you've made if you want to upgrade to the latest version. So uh, this talk is split in three parts, before, during, and after. Why you should upgrade, when should you change every year, and uh, how to be well prepared. During, we'll see all the steps, and after, just a few tips uh, to think about. So, let's start. The reason to upgrade, uh, obviously, if you want to enjoy new features. If you want to stay support, there's only three versions that stay supported, so uh, you will get security patches for Odoo 13, 12, and Odoo 11 starting from now. And also to improve performance. Should I change every year? Um, it's, a, it's a good question. Uh, it really depends uh, of your case. Most of the time I will say yes, uh, but let's do a quick uh, comparison to see. About the complexity, uh, there's changing every year means uh, less change to integrate, so you will have uh, less things to, to look at, less code that has changed, less things to, uh, to change for your code also. Uh, less time required for the developers because less change to integrate, but it will take also more time for the users because they will have to test uh, every year and uh, also to adapt. Sometimes there is, uh, there is a, the, the framework change or it's not uh, easy uh, to, to adapt. Okay. Um, so I will say it's a big yes for a small team if you don't have a lot of users or if you've made a small customization, so change every year. But if there is a lot of uh, users or a lot of customization, it's a yes if. If you ha can allocate resources on, on it and uh, if the migration cycle takes less than one year or you will remain in a constant uh, state of, uh, of migration. Which part do you have to take care about? It's uh, all the code uh, you've developed, except what has been done in studio model. Uh, module. It's uh, already um, uh, it's already uh, upgraded by Odoo standard, and uh, the code, the custom code uh, made for you on the SAS and on SH. If you pay the maintenance fee for it. Uh, what is good is to stay informed during the year to see what uh, has changed and so you can obviously see uh, all the talks here, uh, look for the GitHub release and I recommend you to follow Fabian Pinkart also on Twitter. Uh, he posts a lot about the new, uh, the new features and what has changed technically speaking. It will help you to, to answer the question if you should change every year or not. Uh, here I wanted to um, to show you a few a few things that a few error really common error that we encounter uh, during migration and uh, what to do to to better be prepared for your migration also to maybe you will have to clean that if it's not uh, yet the case in your development. So first of all, it's really important to do your customization in modules and not straight uh, in the interface, in the DB. Uh, like that, uh, you will have to, everything will be in one place, so it will be easier for you. And it will be also easier for the standard Odoo migration team. Uh, so when they do the upgrade, they have to deactivate all customization. And if it, they can't find your customization, maybe it will break uh, at some point. If you have to remove view, uh, fields from views, uh, I recommend that you use the uh, attribute invisible instead of replacing the field. In that case, it will prevent you from other view that crash. For example, if I have a, a country ID field I want to hide, uh, I set it in invisible because if there is another view that can't on him, uh, on it, uh, it it will be a crash with the replace uh, argument. Uh, you should use also external IDs instead of IDs uh, because for some reason, if you have to move uh, data from one table to another, the IDs won't remain the same, so you won't be accessing the the right record. 
And you should be also extra cautious with the no update flag that you set. There is already no update flag on, on some uh, uh, some data uh, like the uh, mail template. Uh, and so when you will be updating your module, the code won't be updated. Uh, so you will first need to uh, set the, this flag as, uh, as false. So it's time now to clean your code if it's not ready yet before starting really the the real job. Okay. Um, during the upgrade, so the steps of the migration. First of all, you stop the development. If you don't want to spend twice the time, it's a good. Uh, it's really important that you tell the customer there is no new dev during the migration process. The second step, it's it's really um, it's really a big step. You you shouldn't uh, pass it, and uh, it will. Uh, help you to save time after. Uh, you will have to see with the customer if the development you've made are, are still needed or not. Uh, sometimes, even if it was really a huge uh, feature that was asked, after a while it's not used anymore, so you don't have to spend time to upgrade it. It will be faster for your customer and for you, of course, to have uh, an upgraded DB. And also, maybe by the time it has been done, it's now in standard in Odoo, and so it's a good time to maybe adapt it or just remove the dev you've made. After that, you have to ask for an upgraded DB. You should go on a upgrade.odoo.com or you can upgrade it by yourself. And during this time, um, I recommend that you, install, you try to install your code on an empty DB. After that, you do the same on an upgraded DB. And uh, sometimes you will have to migrate data also. After that, the test. Uh, it's really important to, to spend time for that and to be sure that everybody knows what he has to test. It's test from the developer side, but also from the customer side. You do a dress rehearsal before uh, the go live. You just ask for an upgraded DB again. You make your code installable on it. You see if your scripts uh, for migration, the data are, uh, are working well. And uh, you, you make some chrono to see how many time you will have to, to make a downtime uh, for your customer. And after when you're ready, you just ask for the upgraded DB again with all the, the data, with the latest data on it. So about that, I will just make some zoom on the three uh, steps that are in green. So first one, to make it installable on an empty DB. Uh, I try to install modules one by one. I mean, if it's not working, I choose one module and I just comment uh, all the, the not Python files, so XML uh, views, uh, security files, and see if it passes or not. If it's not enough, I just choose one by one uh, the Python file and I see if I can fix it in few minutes I just do it and if not I comment and I, I choose some uh, review tag like fix mimic but you choose whatever you want to come back to it later. Uh, the reason is maybe if you fix some uh, a code somewhere, somewhere else in your module uh, maybe the issue that you encounter now will not be uh, there anymore. And you repeat that until you pass through all the modules code. After that, you will obviously have the job to do. So you, you fix the code that was commented. And you test, is everything working now without any data? You test uh, yes, from your side and if you can, from the customer side also. When you get back the upgraded DB with all the data on it, um, most of the time, you will have some issue, to some, some bug to, to fix, but it will be really case by case uh, problems. Um, but if I have one advice at this stage, it will be to deactivate all the custom views. Uh, I will just give you some example to, to see what, uh, what could possibly go wrong. So here I choose, yep. I have uh, my Odoo, uh, my standard Odoo with view one, and I have also two uh, custom modules, module A and module B, uh, with view two and view three in each. Uh, when I'm installing module A, so at this stage, I have my DB that has been upgraded. So let's say my Odoo is now in V13, uh, but 
and I also wrote uh, all my code uh, to be compatible with V13. So in module A, in module B, my view are for V13 and in O2 also. I'm installing the module A and at some point I will be updating the view 2. It's okay. What Hodu will do, it will build a tree view to, to have your final view. It will see, okay, view 2 depends on view 1, but there is also view 3 that comes in view 1. And so it will build uh, a tree view with all the view together. But at this point, the view 3 in module B hasn't been updated yet. So the view that he found is the one from the DB. And so it's still the code of, the, of your older uh, version. So potentially it could break unless you have deacti deactivated the view tree or all the view. Okay, um, about the migration of your data, uh, especially for this year, uh, if you have made some custom fields on the, the model uh, accounted invoice, uh, if you heard about it, but it has been removed. So you will have to handle all the data that are on, um, on those fields. Probably move to uh, accounted move uh, model or maybe some other uh, new model if needed. Uh, I will just give you some uh, some advice how to how to run the scripts to migrate your data. So you could add some folder um, uh, migration in uh, each of your modules that needs it, and in it you will put some uh, folder with the version number. In that folder you will. Uh, put all your scripts that you need uh, in Python. And here, if you see, there is uh, three prefix that can be used, the pre, the post, and the end prefix. Uh, what does it mean? It's that the pre means that it will be launched before the module is uploaded, it's uh, updated. The post, it will be launched after, and the end, it will be launched after all the modules have been updated. After that, uh, it will be an alphabetical order, so here it will be between the pre-10 and pre-20, it will be pre-10 that will be launched first. Uh, it's really important to be cautious with uh, the version number or the prefix you use to be sure that your uh, scripts are run at a good time. Uh, maybe it will erase data if it's run later or it's not run now, but when you upgrade uh, another time. Um, what you could also uh, keep in mind uh, when migrating the data is that you delete fields but create columns. What I wanted to say here is uh, when you are deleting fields, you have to take care about the fields in the table, removing it from the table, but also from the views, from the development, from the filter the translation, and so on. And uh, sometimes uh, you could create the columns if you don't want the ORM to do it. And it could be for a performance reason, uh, especially when it's a computed or a related stored field. If you, if you create the table, you put the data on it, the ORM will see that the table already exists and it won't recalculate everything during the migration process. Okay. This is just an example of script. So there is uh, a function migrate in it. And after that, it's always a serial execute um, a command to, to launch your uh, SQL queries. Uh, with you could also choose to have uh, SQL files uh, also, but with this system, you can uh, see uh, what has been executed, and if there was some mistake or some problems, you, will, uh, sh you, you, you can see it. Okay. Um, after the upgrade, uh, there is you don't uh, want to, to forget that you have to, to allocate resources for the test, uh, not for the test, I'm sorry, but for uh, the bug fix. Uh, all the users will be, uh, will be testing the, 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 pr the, the, ver the DB that is now in production. And so uh, there will be, depending on your tests, a lot or a few uh, bug fix to do. So it's time to allocate resources. And after that, you can enjoy your newly upgraded Odoo. As a conclusion, I would say that it's really 
most of the time it's cool to upgrade, so uh, don't be afraid for that. But just think twice before considering new custom dev, uh, because you will have to take time also to migrate it. And also anticipate it could take uh, much more time than maybe you, you think it takes. If you're still sta scared about it, uh, the consulting service team is there to help, so you can, we can do the, the migration of your customization also. Just go to upgrade.odoo.com for the pricing. Thank you. If you <laughs> if you have any question, I'm here to help. Mm -hmm. I, I'm sorry, I did not understand. Can you repeat it, please, louder? <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, and y what you get back is uh, your DB that is upgraded. Yep, after that you will have to uh, upload it on, on your production, depending it's on OdooSH, if you're here there is some uh, upload button for that, or uh, if you're on premise you do it by yourself. But yes, you will have to, to do the upload. I don't know if I... Uh, okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. um, Yep. Yep. Okay, okay. Yes. No, no, because uh, f it depends. But uh, in, in the standard migration, y you don't have to upload your module because we, we just work with the standard Odoo. Yes. 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 Sorry. I don't know. Oh. Sorry. Yep. Mm hmm. And yes. <coughs> yes, yes. Yes, yes. Th so that's when you get back the data that you will have to move some, maybe from one table or another. I don't know if it was clear. Uh, if we want to delete anything. Yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I can, I can have the right answer if you want, or you just uh, send me an email, or well, I hope so. Yes. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, maybe you can just. Uh, Yes, we can have uh, some discussion later, or you just send me an email, and I will see if I have some documentation to to transfer you. Thank you. Anybody else? I don't know which one, <laughs> sir. <laughs> yes. I didn't, uh, yes. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, do I move the, f the data from the fields from account invoice to another model? Is that what you meant? Good question too. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. But um, maybe yes. Also, we can have a, a look with uh, the migration team and, and see uh, what they have planned to do with that. I don't know. It's it's part of the standards. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. Yes, sir. Maybe. Hmm? Yes. Uh, the script that I show, this is just an example, and it just removes some views. It's really you have to know what you what you want to do, translate it into SQL queries, and, and do the job. There is not one script available to fix all the issues, or especially the translation issues. So. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. um, yes, I think so. Of course, you can also send an email, and I will have a look at it. But I don't think that uh, we have some tools to share for that. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, okay, maybe one, one last. How long for the migration script? Yes. You, I, I don't understand you because of the l the noise. Please, yes, thank you. Yes. 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 Uh, every year is the same question. We don't have the answer yet. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this is part of the standard migration, but uh, really, I cannot give you any de delay. It, it's really, uh, it's not, it's not ready yet. That's the only answer I can and can give you. Me, I don't know. <laughs> uh, sh it, it's not, it's not from my team. So no, no, it's not the same team. Me, I was just talking about the customization. So. I'm on the team that made the customization for, for the customer, and we migrate the customization. But there is another team for the standard migration. So I don't have. Thank you. <laughs>